John Dreyer go. <laughs> Hi guys, so this weekend we're going to a new track for me actually, Pheasant Wood Circuit. Um, which is up near Maroolan, which is like right near Goulburn, about six or seven hour drive for us. So it's a Friday, Saturday event. Apparently we're running the track forwards on Friday and then in reverse direction on Saturday. So it should be a bit of fun. Just thought we'd pack a few tires. 33 on there. Really hit the road though. Got my tricycle. Jay's all loaded up. Blue tree, dog on the tucker box. Stop. Look at that glitter. So we're here, we made it, it is Friday morning I think, I don't know what day it is, we're ready to go, waiting to get in the gates. Toyota with a Nissan engine. Oh my god, this track is ridiculous. So keen. did two quick laps this track is ridiculous um i did have a little bit of an issue just the the old cable tie on the on the dipstick i think it's come a bit loose so i'll just just tighten that up i think i was just breathing out there rather than the catch can a little bit so i'll check over everything and we'll hit the track again Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
couple of laps of Jay. Um, we can take the bonnets off, so we have straight away. The car gets pretty hot after two laps. Um, so we're probably gonna do one lap, like leading, do a cool down, and then switch it up. And then see how the tires go. Hopefully the cars don't get as hot as quick. But yeah, this track is just seriously amazing. It's so good. Elevation changes, rad switches, extends, um, decent high speed stuff, tight technical stuff. It's just awesome. So if you haven't been to Pheasantwood yet for drifting, get out here. It's amazing. I do want to do backwards and do the, uh, the bank. Yeah, the, the bank's cool. Yeah, yeah, turn one when you're going backwards is awesome. But and, uh, it's a little bit more technical because it's like corners sort of tighten as they go through. Yeah. Like, you're not sort of coming out of like a tight corner every time. But, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What about yeah. the Rona? How's the Rona virus going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old uh, Rona is absolutely loving it. Bonnet's off just to try and keep it a little bit cooler. It's pretty warm here today. Yeah. But, Oh, like, I can't fold it, it's just so much fun this car. Love it's a great setup, it loves it. Uh, it's just great being here, driving with mates, having ball. That's it. What about you mate, you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good, yeah. love it. What's, just, what's not to love, eh? I know. It's great. It is a pretty, it feels like a Japanese track. Yeah, it's technical, it's yeah. good. Yeah, it's great. And, but you still got a couple of big corners where it's like horsepower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's not like it's all small and boring and technical. Nah, I'm nah. boring, but. You know, well, the elevation changes are just amazing. It just yeah. wraps around on itself, so cool. Yeah, um, good yeah. for watching too. We'll have to go around yeah. the back and have a look later. Yeah, we better uh, better get some shots of it for sure. Yeah. Well, let's get these tyres done. Yeah, get some tyres done. Go back out. So day one at Keep It Read is done. We just finished up about four o'clock. I'm stuffed. It's hot. I'm in black. I'm sweaty. I killed lots and lots of tyres. Jay and I were doing some over or undertakes, some backies, and lots of tyre destroying. It was heaps of fun. I've got heaps of good videos, so I'll upload them when I can. But uh, tomorrow's another day, let's do it all again.
just had a big session and we've had some dramas. It's actually broken the main shaft of the steering rack. So you can see the spline there. If I turn the wheel, you can see the spline turning. So what's happened is it's pulled the, it's broken it and then the other side has pulled past where it grabs the teeth. So steering wheel is not attached anymore. So that's day over. But man, we had some fun. So the day's nearly over on the second day of Reed Surrey. We were on the trailer. No one had a spare rack and by the time I got it changed it wouldn't have been worth doing. I'll do it at home later. Been riding passenger with Jay and Tony. A few others. Just uh, killing the last couple of sets of tyres and really enjoying this track. Went for a cruise around the back and filmed from the outside and uh, So I just thought I'd do a video to summarize from the weekend at Pheasantwood, Reed Surrey, uh, and give you the rundown on what the car's gonna need before it goes back out again, even though that might be a while with all this coronavirus rubbish going on. The rear bar copped a wall nudge, so I'll see if I can straighten that out. We're gonna need a new flare there. Had a bit of D-Lam take that out and the fuel doors a bit a bit how you going which was kind of my switch o meter if you saw in the video earlier when i had a really aggressive switch the the fuel door would like fly open which is kind of funny obviously it'll need a new steering rack because that one is snapped it's actually going to be a whole heap of fun getting this off the trailer because when you roll backwards uh, the wheels just want to like both turn full lock inwards and like plow its way off the trailer. The other thing we damaged was the indicator lens and the guard here. I tagged Jay a little bit. The car in front straightened um, and I just tucked in on Jay so a bit of contact you get that. I think I used 26 tires and I think Jay used even more. While I've been reviewing the footage and going through the stun to edit, I realized how harsh I am on this car. It's like I have zero mechanical sympathy. So much limiter. It will need, at some point in your gearbox, these synchros on the third and fourth are very tired. Um, you probably saw I was like just pushing through it, crunching into gear. Um, it's kind of, I found it, if you try and shift slow, you'll end up straightening up, so you just got to push through. I'll get another gearbox and, and fit it at some point. I'll probably do a video on that. We'll be getting rid of this shed and building a massive 12x12 shed that'll be the home of Dre Motorsport. So there'll be some videos on the progress of that. Also be covering what I'm doing with this. I'll also be featuring the story behind this car and what we plan to do with it. More of a cruiser, but I'll give you the full story on that in another video. So that's a wrap on the first vlog. Um, so like and subscribe, 
In the next video, I'll be reviewing my car. Which I've already filmed some of that. So it probably won't have all these dents and marks on it. But yeah, check it out. It's a full review. It gives you the full rundown on everything about the car. So we'll see you then.